Okay, so y'all, the messages that I got today, they seem like they're for several people, okay? Like, some messages may resonate for you and some may not, or they may even just resonate for someone close to you, like within your, your circle, but let's just get into it. So the first messages that I received are a form of declutter or releasing from the past that spirit is guiding you to do is to wash all of your towels, all of your bed linens, and all of your underwear. Now, I know it may sound weird to say that, but energy is held within the things that, you know, we we contact with our body with our energy with on a consistent basis so of course underwear of course towels of course you know the bed linens so make sure at least once a week that's at least once a week you clean all of the linens and towels and underwear that you know that you have and the next message that I got was to be silent be still and I feel like like when it came to me, there was a movie that came to my mind, but I can't think of what the name of it was. I feel like it was the movie where um, Freddie Prince Jr., is that his name? I feel like he was in it, but I can't think of the, the name of the movie. But that movie may be significant because it's been a while since I've seen it. But it definitely came up when I heard, be silent, be still, be patient as well, and recognize the little things. It says small victories are still victories. And then I heard pennies add up. And that, that kind of made me chuckle because it, it felt like someone, like someone just spoke there like an older person, I feel like. And now I'm seeing a, um, one of those water cooler bottles, one of those big ones, I'm seeing like, seeing it filled up with change. For for some of you, someone may have, someone in your family may have done that or maybe you do that. And um, some of you use glass containers, I'm hearing. But I, I'm, I'm, I heard pennies add up. Um, so it says to learn to enjoy or learn to remember to enjoy the scenery, the vibrations and the energy of now, because soon it will be totally different. I feel like there is going to be some sort of shift or a transition or even a move. And spirit is asking you to be in the moment to enjoy it for what it is now because it's just going to be a, a memory it's not going to be your reality much longer it's just going to be a memory so in order for it to be a more productive memory because you know you know sometimes we have memories that are hard you know when we remember them and we would prefer we didn't remember them or we would prefer we remembered something else that you know you know something better but i feel as though if you enjoy where you are right now or try to find some sort of silver lining or you know try to just connect with this moment and learn the lessons it'll make for a more productive a more positive memory for you in your future because that like i'm, I'm trying to tell you this is what you are in right now, what season you're in right now is going to be but a memory. Um, so I see you will receive your joy in different ways. Your confidence will flow differently. Some of you will be in a different state. So like I said, there's going to be some sort of shift, some sort of trans. I'm hearing transformation. I was going to say transition, but I heard transformation. Like... I'm hearing zero to a hundred real quick. There's going to be some sort of swift transition. And it's not that the, the transition was swift, but like 
because what I, the the energy I'm picking up on is that you have been in whatever current season you're in now you've been in it for a minute and you've been looking for an out or you've been praying for one or you've been working towards one and it's like when it finally comes it's going to be like a light switch and that's why I feel the energy of enjoying the now right now because it's going to be totally different there may be some things in your season right now that you are comfortable with so you're going to have to learn how to release like sometimes new new levels call for sacrificing things from the old level so be present be in the moment enjoy things for what they are and enjoy them for right now because like it says you're going to receive your joy in different ways so even if you have if, even if you have not felt like you have been joyful joy is coming there's going to be some some smiles some laughter in your future in your in your near future just keep going just hold on don't don't allow yourself to be stagnant within the energy of waiting on things to get better or you know feeling like they may not get better or what whatever is not desired in your life right now don't be caught up in those feelings and in and in those thoughts allow yourself to be delusional you know think about the things that bring you joy think about the things that you want to bring in matter of fact how would you feel if everything that you've been working for you just woke up the next morning and it was here how would you feel like what what would be the very first thing that you did would you call somebody would you go somewhere would you go shopping like would you instantly go look for a home or go buy a new car or like you know like what is it that you would do if that thing finally came in for you what would be your first move and i'm hearing to journal it connect with it like really connect with it because that's going to also help bring it in because law of attraction is going to help bring it in because you you know we always have these desires right but we never think the desire all the way through we don't think about what like okay this is what i want this is what i'm going to do when i get it this is how i'm going to be this is this is what i'm going to do when i first get it this is how i'm going to be as i adjust to having it and like we we don't go through those motions so journaling it will help you it's like i'm hearing something about a beginning a middle and an end like thinking it all the way through uh you know your desire whatever it is like following that thought all the way through you know how you can have a thought or a memory of something that bothers you or, or upsets you or something that stresses you out and you can like think 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 on it do that but with your desires and write it down write the vision make it plain so i also heard where was i be present be mindful gather your current thoughts let them flow and then release from them declutter the mind declutter the memories see i keep feeling i, I like like look I don't know what it is that's coming for you. I just know it's going to be a big change. It's going to be a big shift from what is what is currently your now. What is your current reality? And for some of you, it's something that you've been thinking about for a long time. Something you've been working for and working towards for a while. And for others of you, this is something that's going to surprise you. Something that you weren't even expecting. Like, I feel like whatever it is you felt something you don't know what you felt but you felt something and you know you haven't been able to quite put your finger on it but something is coming and I feel like everyone should be in expectancy but in a positive way don't all like I know that some people when things happen for them that are good if you've been through you know a lot of hard times a lot of trauma you end up waiting for the other shoe to drop when something good comes in for you. But that is also a law of attraction. You're also bringing in that other shoe when in the first, it, you, it's like 
there was no other shoe until you manifested it you know so self-sabotage always 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 try to expect the best to i mean if you know that you're working hard you know that you're doing the things and you know you're following the pathways don't expect anything negative expect positivity drink your water connect with those emotions right now this is my first time in a very long time recording by the lake and I feel I feel at peace and I felt like I needed this time I, I actually feel like I need to like walk around the lake because I feel like there is like some sort of cloud trying to pull from my energy trying to I don't know. I I just feel like this there there is something trying to pour negative energy on top of my positive energy. And I just feel like I needed to be near the water. And I feel like someone else needs to be near the water or drink the water, you know. Spiritual baths, spiritual showers, just connect because the the things that the powers that want to be you know the negative powers that want to be they don't want positivity they don't want positivity to beget positivity so when they sense too much positivity just 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 say for instance some sort of alarm goes off and that's when all the troops line up to combat whatever that positive energy is and it's up to you to fight through it because they really have no power. All they have is like uh, smoke and mirrors. I also heard cloaks and daggers, so I don't know. But all they have is smokes and, and mirrors. They can make you, those negative thoughts, those negative people, they can make you feel like they have power over you because that's, that's what they're good at, making you believe something. But they really don't have any power. Those thoughts don't have any power over you. Those negative people don't have any power over you. Those negative feelings don't have any power over you. It's always a choice. You get to choose how you feel in any situation. I can tell you right now, I'm going through some tough moments in my life. Like all this year, I've been going through tough moments. But I guarantee you, you don't, you, nobody could look at me and tell that because even though I, I do stress out, I do get bothered by things, I connect with my feelings. I connect with my emotions. That's why I can so easily tell y'all that because I practice what I preach. So I connect with my emotions and then I let it go. I pray on it and I just let it go. I choose I have to choose happiness. Happiness doesn't always just come just like that when I wake up. I have to choose to be happy. And I want you all to remember to to choose happiness. Yes, life can get hard. Yes, people can let you down. Yes, things can go haywire. But you get to choose to still smile through it because you can go through the things and be upset and make things worse because you're upset you know when you're upset you don't always make the best decisions you don't always have the best thoughts and you don't always have the best intentions but if things happen and you just allow it to just be like okay this thing happened i'm pissed off but it's okay it's gonna be okay it's not gonna be like this forever it's gonna be fine and just find reasons to smile, find reasons to be happy. Remember how far you have come and just keep moving forward. Keep, your, you know, put your best foot forward and you, you will flow through the things better. It's like be upset when you go through something and it seems like something keep coming. Something, something else going to come. Something else going to come. But if something happens and you just flow through it, you're flowing through it. It's not, it's, it's just, I, I don't want to say it's nothing, but it's easier it's easier but back to the messages <laughs> so it says find your flow get grounded and trust yourself trust your instincts remember that you get through anything that you go through anything that you go through you get through it 
every time you have a 100 percent track record of making it through and i always like even if you are like battered or bruised or you got the black eye or whatever this is this is uh, you know metaphorical you you still made it through and i'm uh, of course i'm envisioning rocky <laughs> rocky babo i just saw 15 15 on the clock but i just saw rocky babo you know he was that dead um russian was tearing him up or was he german i don't know but he was tearing him up but he came back he always came back because he did not let what was going on you know bring him down or deter him he just kept moving forward um so I got distracted for a second. Anyway, so where am I? Yes, the authentic people that surround you. Because you know, y'all know we've been getting those messages about the people, the squares in our circle. Oh, they're making me want to run. I haven't been able to run, run like I've been wanting to or like I usually do because this, you know, this discombobulation that I've been feeling in my physical but I'm running today. I don't care. I'm running today. But anyway, y'all, y'all getting the um, unfiltered version of me today. I'm in a new space as I'm recording. Um, it's not a new space because if you have been following me for a while, you know that I come to the lake every chance I can get. But it's a it's been a new space for a very long time. It's been a, a few months since I've been able to get here and like connect with the water and just be in flow with you guys. But um, yeah, get by some water, child, I'm just saying. Anyway, like I was saying that, you know how we have heard about the squares in our circle, we've been getting this, these messages of people not having our best intentions at heart, there's been people close to us and blah, 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 right? But, you know we still got the good people we can't forget about the ones that really do have our back the, the ones that really love us authentically and 17 17 on the clock and are there for us because they they see us you know they appreciate us spirit wants you to connect with those people show them love pour into them at this time and connect with those loved ones and i'm hearing for some of you it's going to be because you you are going to be moving and you won't be able to connect with them in the physical like you can at this time so you know connect with your loved ones be present with them i'm hearing to initiate an outing even to a park or even like some sort of game night or movie night or something like that and and the last words are talk laugh and bond you know, I feel as though for some of you, you're going to be moving away from these people like physically and you won't be able like your loved ones and you won't be able to connect with them in the physical as often as you are able to now. For some of you, you are able to connect with people often, but you don't. And for others of you, that is your routine. You connect with these people often. And um, there needs to be like some sort of like good, good, not goodbye soiree. That's just what that was. Those are the words that wants to come out. Like some sort of gathering where it's a celebration of the newness, but also a celebration of the connection that you guys hold with one another. Um, I was hearing something else and then I, I got sidetracked mentally. Oh yeah, so the, for others of you, you're going to go into a space of busyness, right? Where you won't be able to connect with people how you are now because your schedule is going to be tied up. So it's like, enjoy the now with your loved ones. Being present for, for yourself, being present for the people who love you and that you love, and just remembering to have a good time building positive memories you know being connected so that was your message <laughs> i pray that it reached you in divine time and i pray that it was some messages in here for you 
and drink your water connect with your emotions oh yeah i know this one was kind of late but like i said i've been going through some things y'all y'all just gotta bear with me but i did make sure that i could get this video out today it wasn't at 11 11 like usual but it did get out today so that was episode what's this episode 16 y'all this episode 16 let me see let me see because y'all i need to celebrate my victories as well because starting a podcast was never <laughs> it was never in my vision i knew that i wanted to speak to the public right but i also knew that i'm not like a get out and speak person like i need to be in my own comfort zone and I, but i know the messages need to get out so i was doing the videos and whatnot and sometimes I would do the videos and it, and I would be like, well, I don't want to really be in the camera. And you know, you know how you have those moments where you just don't want to be seen, especially if you have like that introvert, extrovert type of energy. And then I was like, I kept hearing like podcast, podcast, podcast. And then my daughter brought up a podcast. She, she wants to eventually do one as well with her best friend. And, um, when she said that, I was like, oh my God, what, what What are the chances of her just saying something about a podcast? And then, like, not long after that, my best friend was like, you know what? You should do a podcast, too, because she has a podcast. Her podcast is the Savage Dollhouse Podcast. You can find it on Spotify. And I was like, you know what? I set one up because I had set it up already. I said, you know, you set it up on YouTube or whatever. And um, I had set it up, but I never used it. I never knew what I was going to do with it or what. And it just, it just happened. I don't know. It went, once my daughter and my best friend mentioned it, I took it as confirmation. And now here we are at, this is the, the 17th, I mean 17th, <laughs> the 16th episode that I have named as the 16th episode, but I have over 20 um, podcast episodes. So it's, I'm sure it's like close to 30 now, but y'all, congratulations to me. <laughs> congratulations to me. Congratulations to you. 444 may be significant. I know that um, sometimes it's hard for us to remember to celebrate ourselves. We can celebrate other people easily it's like being too close to the the issue and you know when you're too close sometimes you don't see what you need to see and so um i'm just i'm here to remind you celebrate your small victories celebrate yourself and be in the moment be present remember things will happen that's just a part of life you know, you can't really enjoy the good if you don't have a few little bad hiccups, you know, every now and then. So, be present. Be grateful all the time. Always be grateful. Find something to be grateful for. Drink your water, connect with your emotions, and shine your light. We need your light. Shine it. Okay? Love and light. Namaste. Oh, yeah, guys, you get it.